y'all welcome back to my channel so today i'm so super excited to do this look this look has been living in my mind for like a few weeks now um but i just haven't had the time to bring it to life so if you want to do this pride under eye inspired by i guess i would say nazara looks because you know she does like the colorful under eye but make it pride then stay tuned girl what you waiting for let's get cute let's make a do what do <laughs> All right, y'all, so as you know, June is Pride Month, and today is the last day of Pride Month. I just hadn't gotten around to do any Pride looks. Well, honestly, I haven't gotten around to do any, like, real colorful looks in a little minute. So I'm super excited to play around with some makeup and do this look. But that's not to say that I am not an ally all year round that's just like anything that you advocate for you know you don't want to just focus on it during that month just like you know you don't want to just support breast cancer during october you don't want to support black lives matter only during february you know what i'm saying if you're an advocate you're an advocate um especially these days um with the major ill um that you, united states just dealt on to women as a whole that's a whole nother conversation but you get you you already know where i'm going with the conversation you know what i'm saying it's always gonna be pro-choice over here you know, if you ain't with it, you can hit the exit, period. Um, But yeah, I just want to go ahead and get that out there and make that clarification known that, you know, this is a year-round thing. This is not just a June thing. But, you know, I did want to participate in the festivities, I guess is what you want to call it. However, however. But yeah, guys, let's get into the look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, as I was, like, doing my base and I'm prepping, you know, and I'm getting everything lined up, set up for, like, how I want to do my look or whatever, I'm watching The Lion King um, because I have some plans coming up, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell y'all about it in the upcoming video. Maybe I'm going to wait till then to tell y'all about it. Um, if you've been in my lives, you probably already know about it. I don't know if I talked about it or not. Um, but, yeah, but I just want to know why Anna about has told me about all the little funny little hidden gems in the lion king like i haven't watched the lion king since i was a baby um so now i'm watching currently i just watched the original cartoon and now i'm watching the 2017 remake and then also um apparently there's another remake as well in 2019 but yeah girl um so that is what i'm watching and i'm like y'all i did not know lion king was so funny like i had no idea no idea i'm like literally sitting over here laughing like we fresh out of zebra <laughs> that was so funny like that came out the original one like we we fresh out of zebra <laughs> that's, that's that was just so funny to me like i just wanted to share that with y'all i don't know i don't know if y'all watched lion king i don't know how y'all felt maybe it's just me i don't know i don't know Maybe I'm bored. Who knows? Who knows, y'all? All right, y'all. So, oh, I'm going to go ahead and do a little quick base or whatever. Um, Not too much, though. Um, And I am going to apply my foundation. This is just the Rare Beauty Foundation. Um, Just because, you know, it was the closest to me. I'm not really going to worry about too much of cover it. Well, I take that back. Um, I'm not going to take it. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not going to take it up as high as I normally do. Um, I'm not really going to focus on my under eye with the foundation. All right, so I'm going to take the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer, and I'm going to take it in my normal contour areas except for under the eye. I'm not going to take it there because um, I have other plans for her. You know what I'm saying? So we look like this. All right, so I'm not going to contour just yet. I'm going to wait to do my under eyes, um, and then I'm going to contour. So I'm going to take the LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer. This is the white color corrector, and this is going to be our eyeshadow base for today. I was debating on using an eyeshadow primer, but I was like, I don't want to use that much eyeshadow primer. So we're going to take it back to back and say, okay, girl. Um, and this is going to give me a nice opaque base for these colors to comb through don't you just love when a plan come to action like so yeah guys i have been planning this look in my head for like weeks but you know like life catch up with you <laughs> and i just you know i just couldn't make i just couldn't make it happen um but i'm so excited to be doing it now this is literally like therapy, guys. Like, this is my therapy. 
I'll be in my zone. I'll be in Erica land whenever I'm here in front of the camera with you guys. Like, I feel unstoppable. Completely unstoppable. I don't have any issues when I'm here. I don't have any worries. I don't have any doubts. Nothing. Why does this keep supposed to be like don't but they keep going like don't like no dude don't <laughs> okay so all blended out we look like this so of course i'm not gonna take my colors down this slow but i am gonna build it up and see where i want to go with it um so how i want this to look um i want it to read just like this from left to right and i want to just use the regular roy g biff spectrum so i want to go from red to orange to a really nice yellow in a corner so a nice bright green here for the g and then blue indigo and violet just like that and then i also um have these rhinestones here um i got these from the dollar tree and i'm just gonna pop them into you know their core respective area um i didn't know if i wanted to do complementary colors to each other you know like green stones and the red you know i didn't know if i wanted to do that or or what but i think i'm gonna just go like with red and the red the orange and the orange yellow and the yellow you know um but then again it also, it also doesn't have every color so i have like a red um there's like this soft gold so i guess i could put that in the yellow red yellow i guess this would go for orange um green blue oh i guess it is a little everything huh yeah and then there's also like different sizes of them so i can i don't know we'll see when we get there we'll see when we get there all right so we're gonna be taking a couple of different palettes okay boo so um we are going to be using the sample beauty palette by beth painter that's this palette up top here and then we also have my handy dandy stacy marie carnival three palette love tahiti um and as you can see like they both just have these beautiful matte shades perfect for our look because i am going to do my under eyes matte and then of course with the things on top okay so let's start um how we want to do this okay so let's start from the inner corner and work our way back so we're going to start with the sample beauty palette and we're going to start off with this bright yellow color right here and i kind of want to incorporate a little bit of yellow from the love tahiti but i'm going to show y'all um this is just a synthetic brush here that we're going to be picking this up on um i'm gonna tap right here into this bright yellow color called gemini and we are going to take this here in that inner corner and we're just going to pack her on. And now I'm going to slowly start to work my way down. As you can see that, kind of turn to the side here. I'm going to take it over to the nose. Maybe I should have contoured my nose first. I might just do like a soft bronze contour. I won't, probably won't snatch my nose too hard. I don't want to have too much going on. So I'm just going to kind of like divide my face into sections. So I kind of want um, the yellow to come from the white down to my nose here. The orange to maybe come from like midways to here in that area. And then the red and blend those together like that. Um, yeah, we're just going to keep applying this all the way down this is so pretty and like I said I'm keeping this snatched in combination with my nostril here And this is kind of like also like the jawline that I want to keep. I want to keep it from about here on up. Um, because I do want to still give my face like this natural snatchness, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. So 
so this is about how much yellow i want i really could do like a whole under eye of yellow this is so pretty to me and as i'm working my way further over where i'm starting to stop this color um, I'm just starting to flick it backwards just a little bit so it can start building that gradient. Not that we're not going to go in with like orange and then blend that orange out with the lighter orange. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's just how I'm going to start this process. So I'm going to grab another synthetic brush. This one is a BBB30. And we are going to tap into this bright orange color here called Mango from the Love Tahiti palette. And I'm going to take it slightly over just a little bit. and start to pack this shade on here. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my God, that's so pretty. What y'all thinking, what y'all thinking? What y'all thinking? I should've did this one live. Like, oh, this is everything. So I'm overlapping slightly where that yellow ended to start to build that gradient. But we're going to go in with another color in here. So, you know, really give the girls the gaze. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to kind of stop it like right here. Yeah, because I want to, I still want to have my blush and my contour nice and bronzed up. So we're just going to go back on top of her and really make sure that she is Prominently displayed. All right, and because this is who I am, literally, I'm a Leo. You know what I'm saying? My birthday coming up in like, you know, a few days. You know, if y'all were trying to bless me for my birthday. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, so we're gonna tap into this. This is like a beautiful primary red. Um, I swatched the other reds in the Stacey Marie palette. This is the Leo right here in the center this is from the safe sample beauty palette this is the one i'm finna apply to my eyelids um this first shade here is called chili pepper um i like it it's a little dark i may incorporate it back here in the back you know just to deepen it a little bit and then this one right here is called blaze um she's cute but she just wasn't primary enough you know what i'm saying so that's why i'm going in with leo here and we are going so you see that Yes, ma'am. So we're going to start to overlap her with that orange slightly in that diagonal fashion. You see kind of that. And this is a Real Techniques domed shadow brush. Okay, so now we're going to go back in, now that our colors are applied for the most part, we're going to go back in now and start to blend them out together, add more colors. That way it's literally one fused rainbow. You don't know where one starts, one starts, just like a rainbow. You know, it's really blurred together. So we're going back in right now with Gemini and we are tapping over any areas I feel like are a little lackluster. And then we're gonna bring it over just a little bit more to that orange, like that. Um, now I'm gonna take this little blending brush here and I'm gonna tap into the color yellow, which is a more mustardy kind of like color from the Stacey Marie palette. And I'm gonna use this and I'm going in between the orange and the yellow cause it's so nice fusing color and I feel like um not only will it help me to blend the two together but it also give me a little bit more definition you see that you see how they just fused together I'm just gonna keep blending that out you see how that just became one sandwich oh that look good so now I'm going to go in with the color Pumpkin. She is located directly below the color Leo. And it's a more uh, orangey red. And I'm going to use those to do the same thing that I did with that um, other shade in here. Just to fuse them together. And I'm going to go back in with the color Mango right on top. And then you see that? You see how that's one shade? Like, I'm 
<laughs> All right, so we're gonna go back in with Leo and Marie and force her back here in the back. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of blaze. That's the, um, this color down here at the bottom that I was telling y'all about, just to you know give a little a little depth back there. I got 99 problems, but a mm mm mm. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to move on to the G Biv side. Um, so we're gonna start off with green, incorporate that to blue, incorporate that into indigo, incorporate that into violet. Okay, per. So <laughs> I'm gonna start with this beautiful bright green here called Key. She is called Key Lime. Um, I know she's a little bright, but then I'm going to incorporate it into the tropics because I want that brightness to kind of like coincide with each other. So I'm not going to do too much of key lime. Um, I'm going to kind of like do her just right, right in here just so my under eye is still, you know, really, really popping. Not my under eye, but my inner corner is like really, really popping um, before I move into like a more primary green. So yeah, this is the color key lime. And that's from the um, Carnival palette, guys. And you see how, you know, the brightness kind of, like, goes together. So, I'm going to keep her from, like, right here in my inner corner tear docket area. Um, and that's about as fur. Is that as fur? <laughs> Somebody getting nearly up in her. <laughs> um, that's about as fur as I'm going to take it. I cannot stop saying it. God, I didn't even mean to that time, I swear. So now I'm going to move into this bright primary green here called the Tropics. And I'm going to just keep it about as equal as I did that yellow. So it looks like this. Like that. And I'm going to blend the two together. You see that? It's beautiful. That was perfect. One thing my seeing you hoes got in time and it's y'all both tight. <laughs> Girl, why my girl this your had to skate on that track like that? She said y'all both tight. <laughs> One thing about a two things must of certain the face is always gonna be facing back, period. Okay. Girl, I will sit here and play with y'all all night. Let me quit now. Let me quit playing. Quit playing, Erica. Quit playing. So now we're going to move into blue. So we're going to tap back into the Sample Beauty palette. We're going to come down here and we're going to tap into this shawty right here. Her name's Scamp. Hi, Scamp. How you doing? My name is Erica. Erica Nasty, if you nasty, you know. And the same thing. I'm going to apply her over here. Ooh. She pulled a little darker than I wanted. So I'm gonna um, pull her over just a little bit more. Um, like this, and I'm, you see I'm leaving this space right here. I'm finna show y'all what I'm finna do, okay? Um, I'm finna um, brighten this area right here up a little bit because I didn't realize she was gonna pull this dark. I knew she was gonna be like a nice royal blue, which you know, for some reason I thought it was gonna be like, you know, just a, just a hint, just a, just a hint bit, you know, more not as blue so i'm gonna tap into this color right here called lagoon all my goons got goons and i'm gonna take her yes yes this is giving more so what i wanted to give and we're gonna dance her right here over the screen And you see like that demarcation, we don't want that. So we're going to really fuse these two together. One, two, three, I need about a hundred G's. So now I'm gonna take the color right here. Her name is The Deep. And this is my indigo. I'm gonna grab another brush here and I'm gonna take um hmm. 
I'm gonna take, let's take Prince instead of Blackberry because Blackberry can pull a little dark. So we're gonna take Prince from the um, Sample Beauty palette here. But I, the artist formula known as. And that's my violet. All right, so now we're gonna go in with details. So I'm gonna take Alex, which is just another like indigo color, and I'm gonna take that in between um what's that was called the deep and where my purple started, right in here, and go back on top. There's a little bit more violet, and now I'm gonna bring some more of the deep, and a little bit more of Alex here, and make them become one. So it looks like you know just one spectrum of color. I'm gonna take the color here, Cottage, and I'm gonna incorporate this in between that blue and that green, just a little bit, just face, which I think, that's the under eye, rainbow under eye, transmission accomplished. <laughs> okay, so um, now let's go in with details. I wanna see details. Um, hold on, let me find some lash glue. All right, so I got my lash glue here. But before I put it on with lash glue, I'm gonna just kind of like take my tweezers and just kind of like see um, before I put these dots on my face because I don't want to mess up this hard work. All right, so let's just see this place. It's not sticking without me doing no glue. So I guess God is saying, trust your gut, bitch, okay? <laughs> Okay, this don't look good. This this gonna be straight. Okay. Alright. I do not like using these tweezers. Um, and I don't have like a grabber tool. And this I don't want to use no good lip liner. I mean, don't get me wrong, all my lip liners are good lip liners, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really want to use that. Um, so we're gonna take these dark golden rhinestones here they kind of blend um i'm gonna make them blend you know what i'm saying make it enough okay um i'm gonna try just applying the glue on the back of the stone and placing it that way straight off my finger and i'm gonna take it right there does that stand out too much right there kind of sort of but it's cute um, I'm not doing this in any type of fashion. I'm just kind of like eyeballing it and kind of like imagining like where the little ones are going to go, like kind of like in between them or whatever. Um, so I don't have like a method of how I'm placing these either. So they're just going where they're going to go, okay? Starting to move over. I saw the signs that opened up my eyes. I saw the signs. I can't really explain it. I'm so in to you. I really like what you've done to me. I can't really explain it. I'm so into you. Alright, so I don't know how the hell I'm getting these little ass stones on my face, but we finna try it. We trying we finna we finna really try to make some shit shade real quick. Okay, so now I'm gonna start to go in with the red. And I'm just gonna place them randomly, guys. Um really it ain't no tutorial on this part. Like this is just seeing how long it takes before I get frustrated. <laughs> All right, so this is the Roy side. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing to the GBiv side of my face. And I will be right back to finish the look. All right, guys, so this is the under eye all jeweled out or whatever, however, uh, freaking obsessed. So I did go in and snatch the nose. Um, I just went in with my Fenty 
powder bronzer this is in the color mocha mommy it's just my favorite also took that on the lids a little bit um just for a little bit of definition up there you know nothing too crazy and i slightly brought it in and i really took my time to still you know define my nose my nostrils nose nostrils whatever solid anatomy okay and then i'm just cooking that up with a little bit of laura mercier powder um and then i also went ahead and i just set um the remainder of my face with just a little bit of um that translucent honey powder so i'm gonna take my bronzer now and i am going to um snatch the forehead so I'm gonna go on with my favorite blush. This is the Laura Mercier Grapefruit Blush. And I'm just going to take that on my angled tapered face brush. And I'm just gonna work it like right in here in an upward sweeping motion. Why did I close this? All right, so we're gonna take the Morphe Mirage Highlighter. This is a OG. Y'all already know her. Those lips, those eyes, love it when you look at me, baby. Love it when you kiss me, baby. This is my problem. Like, I grew up listening to all this old school love songs like that. So now I be wanting to sing it to like everybody I be with. And these niggas do not deserve a Shanti and J. Rule, okay? Like, they just do not deserve it. Period. It's okay, because my husband will be getting all the Ashanti, okay, period. No Ashanti slander will be tolerated on this channel. I love Ashanti. She was my favorite singer when I was younger. Like, everyone else, you know, was, like, obsessed with, like, um, let me see. I don't know who everyone else was obsessed with, because I've always been, like, more so focused on me. <laughs> um, but that was my heart, for real, for real, like. So I just not learned that in the song, like when she goes back and forth with Ja Rule in the song Mesmerize, she's saying, love it when you thug me, baby. My fast ass always thought, love it when you fuck me, baby. Girl, my little fast ass used to be so, so my mama, my auntie don't turn the head. Love it when you fuck me, baby. No good way, I don't even know fully what it mean, but. You couldn't tell me. Mm -mm. Love it way about me, baby. <laughs> and she was saying thug the whole time. So somebody is grown. <laughs> like this is why, Lord, Lord, I don't even, you know, at this point I don't want kids, but you know, that's probably gonna change and I get married or further down the line, whatever, however. Lord, if I have kids, please, please, please don't let me have a daughter. She gonna act just like me and I ain't gonna be able to take it, Lord. I ain't gonna be able to take it. I ain't gonna be able to take it. She cannot act like me. Who you gonna be getting into it? Like, girl, who you think you is your mama? Nah, but then again, I think, I'm think i gonna think it's so cute. Like, oh my God, you act just like mommy. <sighs> I've had a daughter. She'll be so cute, guys. Like, <laughs> You act just like mommy, baby. Mm -hmm. So cute. All right, guys. This is the final look, final face with the lip and everything. And it's and giving what it was motherfucking post to give. It's giving it to the girls. It's giving it to the guys. It's giving it to the LGBTQIA+. Plus, baby, it's, it's giving. I am obsessed. I did it. I Ain't nobody else gonna clap for you, girl. I'ma clap for you because I'ma clap for myself. You and I till I die, ride or die. Oh, this is given. It came out exactly how I envisioned. I don't know, it might be a little bit better. I don't know. I don't know. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Y'all don't pay my hand no attention because I ain't doing nothing with it until my birthday. Okay, <laughs> like prepare for me to look real scrubbish. Cause on the 28th, yeah, mm -hmm. big that way. I'm, I'm living for the look guys. Like, tell me what you think. I love it. I love it so much. Thank y'all guys so much for tuning into this video. This video was so much fun to do. This is like, just like I said, my little homage, my little 
toast to pride because you know i tell y'all this all the time if it wasn't for drag well i'm not gonna give it all to drag but i'm gonna give up a lot of it to drag and my mama i would have never gotten into makeup if i had a never i probably would have just you know like did my makeup just to do it or whatever but i wouldn't have taken it as a career probably if it wasn't for drag um because just seeing my mama do hers and then like seeing drag on tv just rock my world so i just love this look so much i'm literally obsessed um yeah thank y'all so much for tuning into this video um comment down below your thoughts and i will see y'all in my next video